Yo, what is up you guys and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going through week number three on my Robinhood stock portfolio. Today alone, I bought over $5,000 in new dividend stocks. I wanna take you guys through my portfolio, show you guys all the new stocks I bought, give you guys a little bit of reasoning on why I chose those specific dividend stocks. We're gonna break down my entire portfolio together and I also wanna speak on the question I've been getting a lot from people and just the question that a lot of people are probably thinking themselves. Is this a good time to start investing into stocks knowing that the 2020 recession, financial crisis, whatever you wanna call it. I also wanna give you guys my opinion on that. So with that being said, let's get into my computer and I wanna show you guys my portfolio and the new stocks that I bought today. All right, you guys, so once again, here we are inside my portfolio. Super excited to finally be over $10,000. We're at $12,086.59 for the entire portfolio value. I'm looking to do some very long-term dividend investing. I'm gonna be putting a lot more money into this account every single week as we go on. So just remember that doesn't really matter too much what this is also in at this exact moment. So one day, that is that. Uh, one week, we're at uh, plus $5.68 for the week. The month, up $32, three month up $84, up a year, $81, and all time, we're up uh, $81. Like I said, you guys, it doesn't really matter too much. It's fun to see this number get bigger and it's fun to see it grow and everything. But remember you guys, I'm basically using this account to park a bunch of my money, make some decent yields off the dividends, and more or less just make a lot more money than I would if the money was just sitting in a bank account. If you guys are interested, I made a few previous videos of starting my Robinhood account from absolutely zero. I go through and show all the stocks that I actually purchased previous to this video. So if you guys wanna definitely check that out in my few previous videos. But for now, let's go ahead and look at some of the stocks that I bought today. The way that I decided on which stocks I bought today and the way that I kind of invest in general is, I normally go on a few very popular investing blogs and forums. I read through a ton of different articles as well as follow a bunch of other YouTubers and podcasts that I listen to and try to get any insight I can from the overall market, mostly from the overall dividend stock investing community. I really like to follow that because that is what I'm trying to make my portfolio basically most of. And then from there, what I normally do is I take maybe a page of notes about the specific companies that I have interest in. I look a little bit deeper into them, their dividend yields, their history and all that. And then from there, if I like the companies, I jot them down on a piece of paper. And then within a few days, when I feel like it's a decent entry point, I just invest in the stocks from that point on. How many shares I normally invest in each stock kind of again depends on the research process. If I feel like the stock is just overall really, really great, maybe right then I'll invest a lot more shares. If I'm not really too sure about a stock, but I do feel like it could add some decent value to my portfolio, I'll normally buy a few shares of it just to kind of get some skin in the game. And then later on, maybe buy more shares if I do want to add more to my position. So the first stock that I bought today was BANX. I bought 45 shares of that. The next one is STAG. I bought 25 shares of that. The next one is APLE, I bought 30 shares of that. We're gonna go through all these guys, so stick around for that. The next one is ABR, I bought 25 shares of that. The next one is NRZ, I bought 20 shares of that. And the next one is SAR, I bought 15 shares of that. And then the next one is EPD, and I bought 26 shares of that one. Here's a simple breakdown of all my holdings at this moment, you guys. I just use sheets to make a simple breakdown. So I have all my different companies, all the shares that I own, and then basically a simple pie chart to show you guys what I own of each. And over time, I also wanna make a pie chart about like which industry it's in, like if it's in like the oil industry versus the real estate industry. I kinda wanna make a pie chart just to try to diversify as much as I can. Because especially with the market being kind of uncertain here in the future, I really would like to have some dividend stocks in a lot of different industries. Therefore, if maybe one industry is getting hit a little bit harder and they start cutting dividends over here, maybe the dividends over here will be more safe. I really wanna diversify as much as I can. I'm finding myself buying a lot of these real estate REITs. They have really good dividends normally and they have a lot of history with the dividend. I kinda of see myself getting trapped in buying a lot of those. I really wanna diversify. If you guys have any other sectors that I should really look into, I think like oil and gas, I also wanna get a little bit heavier into. But as far as things like consumer goods, I don't really know too many good companies to look for in there other than like 3M. There's a few other ones. Kraft, I think is a decent dividend stock. Definitely leave any comments down below. Again, if you guys want me to check out any stocks or you think that they would be good for my portfolio. Again, I'm just looking for dividend stocks, long-term, decent paying dividend stocks is pretty much all I'm looking for. So now let's go through all the different stocks that I actually purchased today. I want to give you guys a little bit more of a breakdown of them. I'm not an expert on any of these companies or anything, but I just want to show you guys kind of behind the hood of them a little bit. So for starting off, we bought 45 shares of this one right here, Stone Castle Financial. The dividend yield is pretty good in my opinion, 6.7%. All of the dividend yields that I'm kind of buying just are probably between four and maybe 12%. Most of them landing in around like the six or seven. And I'm very happy with that because like I said in previous videos, I'm making like under 2% right now in my high yield uh, savings account. So if I can make even double that per year, I'd be really excited. And it's just really fun to learn about all this stuff. So it's kind of a win-win. I'd be really excited to make anything over 4% or even 4% to be honest with you guys. The next one that we bought 25 shares of is this um, Stag Industrial. I think this one might be, oh yeah, this one's a monthly dividend, which is pretty cool. 
The dividend yield is 4.74%, which is also pretty good. The next one that we bought is Apple Hospitality. It's a REIT. And this one offers a 7.33%. The other thing that I want to mention to you guys is I'm gonna continually invest in different companies as well as adding shares to my current positions in these companies. My goal is that as time goes on, I'll have a pretty diversified portfolio along with very big positions and companies that I really stand behind and I really wanna be a part of. And maybe smaller positions and companies that are a little bit more risky but have a little bit more return. And overall, once again, just have a decent yield on return every single year. All right, you guys, so the next one is Arbor Realty Trust. Another REIT, this one has 6.7% dividend yield. And again, you guys, I didn't just pick these out of nowhere. I did a little bit of research. I'm not an expert by any means, but you guys, I hope you guys aren't thinking that I just picked these out of absolutely nowhere. I did do research on all these, and I don't know that all of them are the best investments in the world, but they all seem good enough to at least get a decent position in. So I definitely wanted to mention that in there for you guys. All right, next is new residential investment. This one I heard some really good stuff about. I think I mentioned in previous videos, NRZ. This one has a 12.41% yield right now, so it's a super big dividend. I do think that there might be some risk that comes along with that. I think this is a newer one. I think this is a newer company, so this one obviously has a little bit more return, but with that probably comes a little bit more risk. All right, you guys, next is the Sartoga investment. This one also I heard some really good things about. This one has this one has an 8.53% yield, which is really, really good. It does have a negative uh, five-year growth rate and the payout ratio is pretty high, but I did do some reading on this one. A lot of analysts were saying that it's a great buy, so I did open a little bit of a position in that one. And the final one is Enterprise Products Partners LP. This one, let's check out the dividend. 6.74% every quarter. This one has a pretty good track record. I read some good things about it and that was the final stock that I decided to purchase today. I also wanna to touch on the question that I've been seeing all over the internet and the question that I've been asking myself, is this a good time to start investing in dividend stocks? Is this a good time to invest in the stock market in general? We are kind of at a financial bubble. A lot of these companies are overvalued, a lot of people would say. A lot of these companies are seeing higher than usual stock prices and lower than usual dividend returns because of that. And a lot of people are just saying that it's not that good of a time to invest, especially with next year being an election year and especially with all the uncertainty with the trade war and everything else that's going on. I'm not a financial expert by any means. So again, this is not any advice to you guys. It's just kind of what I'm thinking through this whole thing. The way that I'm going about my investment portfolio, as you guys have heard a million times, I'm just looking for some solid companies that have a decent track record that are offering decent dividends. And overall, if I keep on averaging my positions, whether the economy goes down, whether the stock market goes down next year, or whether it keeps on going up like it is, it doesn't really make too much of a difference to me because again, if I can yield a 4% a year return at minimum, which I'm pretty sure I probably can unless everything really seems to go wrong unless all these different dividend companies are cutting their dividends and I start making absolutely nothing, which of course that would be worst case scenario. I'm not looking to cash out this portfolio in one, two, three, four, five years. I'm really trying to use this portfolio for when I retire in 20, 30, 40 years or whatever it might be. If I hold on to these companies for a long time and reek the benefits of the dividends along the way, I'm really not too worried about the 2020 crisis or whatever anyone else is really saying. A lot of the financial analysts are saying that if you're looking to start growing a dividend account or any account for that matter, if you're looking to grow this account long term and you're not looking to pull out the money in one year or whatever it might be. As long as you were to keep all your shares in, even through a financial crisis, most of these companies will probably still keep paying dividends and might cut them a little bit. Hopefully they don't cut them all away. But more times than not, there's not really a right time to get into the stock market. There's more of an idea of being in the stock market for a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like that little Robinhood update. My portfolio is coming along, which is super exciting. I'm gonna be buying a ton more stocks every single week, like I promised you guys. I'm probably gonna be buying another $5,000 next week worth of stocks. So please, please subscribe subscribe for that. If you guys did like this video, please, please give me a thumbs up on this video. It really helps grow my channel. Super excited to bring you guys along with this investing journey. We're only at week number three and I already feel like I've learned so much. So who knows what will happen in a year, two years from now. I'm really excited for you guys to be along with me on this journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. A quick shout out to a few of you guys that have been commenting on a few of my past videos. Shout out to Minds in Motion. Shout out to Becoming Financially Fit. And shout out to Krizen13. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.